YouTube, what's going on? Professional Madden player T. Davis here in our favorite series from last year, the series you guys love so much. We're going to break down 32 team ebooks here right on the channel. That's it. Free offensive ebooks from all 32 NFL teams. So we're going to have some of the best money plays in every single playbook to break down uh, on the channel for you guys here. So whether you are a fan of the team, whether you use that team in Madden, it doesn't matter. We're going to break down the best money plays in every single playbook here on the channel in our 32 money play series. If you guys want more content, Content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube smash that like button and comment down below anything you want to see here on the channel if you're enjoying these free ebooks or what team you want to see me do next but we're gonna start at the top we're gonna to start you know we're gonna go alphabetical order but we will get through all 32 teams last year it was a huge hit everyone loves these 32 team breakdowns so I'm gonna do it here again on the channel probably gonna last a few weeks though trying to get all 32 teams in but don't worry your team will be on there so check out my playlist as well if you're not sure or if you can't find your team check out the playlist on my channel um, and just go through the channel in general and you'll be able to find your team so that's really it for the intro guys of course i have coaching sessions available i have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you guys want to improve as a madden player i've been around for 10 years have hundreds of thousands of dollars in in career winnings worked as the color commentator for ea sports for our big madden tournaments this year in the past few years so i know what i'm talking about a little bit when it comes to madden so check out the ebooks down below i have a west coast offensive ebook i have an indianapolis colts offensive ebook and i have a tampa bay buccaneers defensive ebook like i said the coaching sessions and film study reviews you can check out all those things and links in the description below as well as my social medias you can follow me on twitter on instagram if you have any questions or anything of that nature so that's really it guys let's jump in to the free ebook right now youtube what's going on your boy professional madden player t davis is back today and we're breaking down the atlanta falcons offensive playbook we're going to be breaking down some of the best money plays in the entire atlanta falcons offensive playbook part of our 32 team free ebook uh playlist here on the channel so if you want to find your playbook, make sure you check out the playlist on my channel. I'm breaking down uh, pretty much the best money plays in every single playbook in Madden 22. That's right. All 32 teams, we're talking about the best plays in each playbook. So we're breaking down pretty much 32 free ebooks for you guys here on the channel. So if you guys are loving my content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your thoughts if you think there's any other plays that I missed or any other plays that I mentioned that you want to discuss further. Let me know in the comments down below. We can have a discussion. Appreciate the support, man. It's been amazing. Like I said, make sure you guys are subscribed, man. I have some of the best content on YouTube when it comes to, you know, improving your Madden game. And then check out down below and links in the description below. I have three ebooks available here in Madden 22. I have two offensive ebooks and I have a great defensive ebook. Uh, you know, pretty much all, you know, full length, deep discussions on uh, some of the best concepts in Madden 22. So check out those ebooks. I also have coaching sessions available. Uh, down below we have 30 minute sessions we have 60 minute sessions we also have package deal sessions so uh, check out all my links in the description below here on the channel um, and then follow me on social media as well at t davis brand on pretty much all social media platforms instagram twitter tiktok uh, you name it i'm on there talking about madden talking about sports football basketball so you know show some love and i'll show you guys some love back all right so let's get into it here breaking down the best plays uh other falcons playbook and we'll kind of keep balance, right? We want some good runs. We want some good passes. But we'll start with the Z close formation, right? And and this is kind of just like, I don't really want to mention one specific play here. I'm going to kind of talk about a couple because that this is a nice new formation added. <clears throat> it's like a blend of I form close, strong close, um, all these type of I form pro, like all mixed together, right? So I think the best passing play you can find in here is this PA cross, right? We're going to have this big, we're going to have this deep, deep crosser to circle, Um uh, and then we also have a skinny post in case there's a kind of a lapse in coverage. Or maybe they're running Tampa 2. You can hit with that skinny post. You also have the drag underneath. It's a nice little mix in. Of course, you have the blast, the inside zone, the stretch, which I absolutely love. We have a dive. We have a duo alert, too. I love these duo alert runs where I think go underrated. And then we have a PA sale play. So um, I just wanted to mention all these plays. I'll do a quick rundown of kind of, you know, it's simple, though. I'll do the stretch. You guys know how good the stretch is. What you want to do, too, is you want to look for the numbers in the box, right? So you see here the defense, they're in a nickel look. They have numbers to the right side, right? So I kind of probably want to flip this to the left, right? I'm going to play make my run to the left. We'll see if we can use a little motion as well, get that lead blocker going to the left. But this time you see the nickel, he actually followed. So I'm going to reset the play here. We always want the numbers, right? We always want to go away from the strong side of the defense. So I'm just going to flick the run to the left. I'm not even going to motion. And we should have the numbers over here on the left side. Cordell Patterson, you can get him out in space. Sometimes you can cut it back in. So like I said, you always want to kind of go away from that nickel back if possible. So I'm going to flip the play entirely here by pressing uh, square and right trigger. 
or X and, and right trigger if you're on Xbox. And now I definitely have the numbers to the left side. You see David Nickel, he's still lined up on the right, but now I have two extra lead blockers over here on the left. So that's what makes this uh, run so cool is you can run it you know, to the left, to the right. Either way, you can, you can flip the plate. Um, it's a quick flip. You can play maker it. We also have the dive, of course, here as well. Um, so, you know, anytime you can have a little scheme with a dive, a stretch, a duo alert, an inside zone, makes it really difficult for the defense to kind of, um, you know, keep them all together. And then one last time, he'll run the PA cross. And you can just literally run the stock, kind of do whatever you want. I like to put the fullback on a little out route as well here. Um, but we're honestly looking for, you want to try to look for circle here on the sidelines if you can. See how that deep crosser, we had the drag crosser combo get into the sidelines. So nice little mini scheme here out of this I form Z close formation. All right, and the cool thing about this playbook, guys, is we have, so we talked about the I-form Z-close. It also has I-form slot, also has strong close and weak close. So you can audible around to all these different formations, create a nice little mini scheme here out of these under center formations in the Falcons playbook. So let's take a look at the strong close. So many good plays in here. You got the dive. You got PA scissors. PA deep is good. You can get a bomb out of that. Wide receiver out. Off tackle. Double post is really good. So you can, it's not the best strong close in the game. Obviously, it's missing a couple of the good plays we like, like PA deep cross. Um, but there's a couple things we can do in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to wide receiver out, right? And I like this concept a lot versus man coverage. So I'm just going to run a basic cover to man. Now, what I like to do here is I'm going to go ahead and block my running back, Cordell Patterson. I'm going to put the left receiver there square. So Russell Gage would be X on Xbox. Put him on a little hitch route, just like that. And I'm going to take Tajay Sharp here. I'm going to put him on a slant. And I'm going to motion him to the left side. So what I'm looking for here is the slant post combo over the middle. One of the most popular concepts in Madden, you see how open the slant is getting, right? So it depends on the user, too. If the user goes with the slant, we would probably wait and hit Kyle Pitts uh, coming to the left side. But that time, the slant was just absolutely wide open. So one more time like this, we'll set it up here. Motion over sharp on that slant. And when the user follows either the circle or X, we're going to throw the opposite one, unless they have wide open separation. You see here, Kyle Pitts had the separation. Matt Ryan has a noodle arm, so we weren't able to get out there. Let me try one more time, see if we can get it out there to our man Kyle Pitts here, one of the best tight ends in the game motion him over i forgot to block the running back here but it's fine but you see here kyle pitts gets that separation right there that tight end post absolute money versus man coverage so we're looking for that or the slant coming across with motion i'm going to do the slant one more time because what the slant does when you motion and you want to hike it before he sets he gets a little boost off the line you see there hike it there he's going to get an outside release and then boom cut right in he gets that separation versus man coverage and we can throw that all day long for a big play all right, guys, let's go over to the shotgun formation. We're talking about split twins. This is a new formation added to Madden 22. Has some nice plays here. You see Texas has some good runs, has inside zone, has the PA slide, off tackle, corners, and post halfback corner. That's the play we want to take a look at here is post halfback corner. This play is really, really effective versus zone. I actually want to move my eh, – we don't need to. So what you want to do here – is I like to put my running back on the left, so Patterson. And this is cool because you know, you guys know how good the ins and out routes this year are um, out of the, you know, out of, out of shotgun, right? Ins and out routes to the running backs are absolute money this year in Madden. So what first setup we can do here is I like to put Patterson on a little wheel route, just like that to the left. I'm going to go ahead and put Russell Gage on an out route because we have that halfback wheel flat combo that we love. Then I'm going to go ahead and streak Kyle Pitts here, try to clear out the zones for circle because that post route from circle is one of the best. And then Mike Davis here, we talked about it. We love the halfback out route. So I'm going to put Mike Davis on a little baby out route right here. So we can attack the left side, we can attack the right side, and we can attack over the middle in this play. It's one of the best in the game. So you see here, we'll hike it. And what you can do is, of course, when you just do a quick check down to the out route, I mean, that's guaranteed three yards. And a lot of times if it's a blitz or if it's man coverage, you can turn that into a much bigger play. So that would be probably my first. Just check it down to the running back. Make it nice and easy for yourself. One more time here. We'll just do a little quick check down. As soon as he cuts out, maybe we can spin back in. You get Look at that. That's an easy six yards right there. So that's just kind of a simple one, right? Then we'll go over here to the left side. Set it up the same. Run it back on a wheel. Run it back on an out route. Out route over there on the left. And then a tight end streak. And what I like to do is kind of pass lead down. Or that time, you know, that was just a bad read by me. That time the... Uh, inside defender actually played that pretty good. So I do want to be on the right hash mark here. I want more room for my wheel on the left there. Let's see if we can get it here this time. But usually looking for the running back wheel as soon as he cuts up, or unless you can hit Russell Gage. So sometimes you can just go like that. If there, if that slot defender isn't going out there in the hard flats, I mean, we're going to take that all day long. And that seems to be the case uh, in this situation. So I'm probably going to check take that again. But a lot of times, that flat defender, he's going to go out wide right away, right? And we're able to throw it inside with a pass lead down, possession catch to that wheel. So you kind of want to read the defender there. He's a little bit late going out, so we can just throw to gauge easy. But if he goes out initially right away under gauge, 
um, then we can just throw to the wheel. But this time, he's not going out there. The, the outside defender's giving us tons of room to throw the low route, so that's the one we will take here. So that's what I like over on the left side. And then, of course, over the middle here, if we can get to that post, we will. We probably can't roll out with Matt Ryan. But you see how that you see how the post is coming to the sidelines? That sometimes is what we can go to um, deeper down the field. So it's a little bit of a longer progression. Let me see if I can get a little bit of time here. Step up in the pocket. It's tough with Matt Ryan. But you see how the circle's coming across on that post of the sidelines? We'd get it to him later in the play. And then one other thing I want to mention here that you can do is also just put your running backs both on in routes. And this is going to be really good versus man coverage uh, as well. Um, really creates a lot of havoc. And I'm just going to kind of get the other receivers out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put circle, or excuse me, I'm going to put square and X on streaks. But these little halfback in routes from the same formation, just really, really good underneath, right? You can throw it to either one as they're kind of cutting outside. I'm actually going to put circle on, or square on a uh, comeback. Give us that extra layer out there on the left side. So it just looks like this, right? And you can either hit either either one to check down. You get them out in space, out wide, create a nice little um, thing. And especially, like I said, if it's man coverage, you're going to get great separation. But even hard flats can't really defend these little uh, halfback ins and out routes here. So one more time here. This time we'll go to Patterson. You see there we get it outside. I mean, it's an easy six, seven yards right there. Um, just an easy completion. Get that completion percentage up. All right, guys, now we're going to go over to the Bunch Y Flex Formation, brand new added to Madden 22. Of course, I've done a couple of videos on my channel about this formation. If you want to check them out, you can. It has some great plays here. You see there it's got the RPO zone alert bubble. That's one of the best RPOs in the game, in my opinion. We have dig return. We have a basic inside zone, which, of course, is good. We have 83 halfback choice, really good play. Z spot is a great flood con concept play. Spacing, we know how good spacing can be this year. Verticals. Slip screen, and of course, Flood. Flood, one of the best plays in the game. But we want to take a look at Dagger, right? This play is absolute money here. Um, you know, kind of newly added to Madden 22, this bunch Y flex formation in this play. Dagger, you can do a lot of different things out of it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I like to put a running back on a little out route, just like this. You move on in, in or an out route. I'm going to go ahead and put Pitts on a streak, and that's really all we need to do. I probably prefer the running back on an in route, but we can do in or out route. Like I said, it doesn't really matter here. So you see here, it kind of he everyone backs off because of all the trips receivers set to the right side. So we can literally just check down to that running back, going to the strong side easily for a big play, right? So one one more time, we'll do it like that again. You see how everyone kind of backs off because all those receivers out there. So we get that out to Patterson for an easy completion underneath. We can maybe turn into a big play and make a spin move happen. Now, let's go ahead and come back to the left side here. If we can get this crossing route behind the defenders. See, we can't there. The, the Cloud Flat's playing it pretty well out there on the left side. So you want to ideally um, have that defender be in a hard flat over there on the left, and we can throw it to that deep crosser. Um, but he seems like not. he's going not as going as far as we would like. So we're going to hold. I mean, the running back's just wide open versus cover two. So I'm actually going to go ahead and run this versus man coverage also because I do like this versus man coverage because the cover two is playing that crosser pretty good. So if they're playing a hard flat, though, in the cover two, we're going to throw the crosser. But versus man coverage here. We'll set up the exact same, and I should be able to have Russell Gage here on this crosser coming. Yeah, just like that. So sometimes he can get behind the zone defenders, but if it's man coverage, he's going to whoop them all day long. Same thing here. Go ahead and hike it. This time, once again, like we talked about those in routes, look at the separation they get versus man coverage. Because usually the running back, you know, he's lined up on a safety or a linebacker. He's going to get big separation coming across. And then finally, we'll see if Zacchaeus can get separation. I don't think he can because he's got Darius Slay on him. But sometimes, oh, he does. He still gets that separation on that outward in-cutting uh, deep out route. That route is absolute money as well. Kind of as our third read on the play, just like this. You see, he's going to go in, and then he's going to cut back in just like that. Boom, he gets that separation. We'd like to low pass that and possession catch it for a nice completion. All right, guys, finally, we'll take a look at the regular Gun Bunch. You guys know how good Gun Bunch this year, especially in Madden 22. I mean, Bunch is good every year, but in Madden 22, it is just so, so good. We got, you know, we got verticals, mesh spot, corner strike, deep corner, inside cross, bench pivot, Y curl, smash, return, Z spot. Uh, they got the halfback base. I mean, this formation just absolutely stacked. But the play we do want to take a look at is speed dig. It's kind of similar to the play dagger we just talked about. But I think this crossing route in the slot is even a little bit better in my opinion so come out in here now what i like to do a couple different ways we can set this up right first is i like to just kind of put square on a street kind of get him out of the way right so i'm running back on an out route just like this i'm actually going to put circle here on a flat just like that i'm going to motion him out to the right and we're going to have flood concepts on the left and then we also have this little tight end route that just kind of sits down right there you see how the flat brought through the flat defender out and it allows Kyle Pitts to just sit down right there. So let's do that again here. Watch that slot DB on the defense. He's the flat defender. 
he's going to go out wide with Zacchaeus here. You see who does that? And then Kyle Pitcher sits in between them right there for an easy completion. That's an easy 10 yards. You couldn't ask for an easier completion. Sits in the middle of that zone coverage. Absolute money, right? So now let's go ahead and look to the left side here, right? We're going to have, of course, we have our little check down. These halfback out routes, you guys know, just the best in Madden 22. You spin back in, easy 12 yards. Halfback out routes, out a bunch. Just so, so, so effective, right? So then let's see now if we can wait for our deep crosser. So if they're playing underneath, you know, they got to guard that halfback out route. We're going to wait. And we're going to have our deep cross to the side. I threw a little bit too early, but you see we're still able to get it there. And if you have an elite run, route runner in that spot, it makes it even a little bit better. So let's go ahead and run it again here. See if we can wait a couple more seconds. The pass rush is getting to us, but this time we're able to get it there. He gets behind that uh, zone, that linebacker onto the sideline. So Russell Gage is not an elite defender, but he's still able to complete it right there. So one more time here. Let's go back to the right side. I mean, we had Patterson all day long, though, but we'll just check it down to Pitts here. And this route is great in the red zone as well. So speed dig, one of the best plays. You can also create a little flood concept out of it just like this. Have the ultimate kind of flood to the left side here, right? Just like that. So what I like to do is motion this out route or this in route out a little bit. We have the drag, we have the in route, and we have the deep crosser coming to the sideline. So that time we just check it down to pits. But any of those routes can be open. We'll do it again here. So you want to put your tight end on a drag, streak square, and put this uh, outside bunch receiver on in route. Motion them out a few steps so it looks the exact same as the previous play. But you see here we have a little flood coming to the left. And this time the deep crosser, horrible throw by Ryan. But you see how open he was. And then also you can kind of wait and have that little check down to circle here coming from the right side. So if they kind of, you know, go down to guard pits, they wait for the crosser, we just check it down to the little uh, uh, in route coming across later on. So it's a great spacing concept, and we're just attacking that left side of the field. But all these routes are spaced out from each other and really makes it difficult for the defense to defend. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you are subscribed, like this video, comment down below. Check out all the other teams I'm doing for my free eBooks here on the channel. Appreciate you guys, man. Until next time, peace.